All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. Knife. Back to the roots. New Age Hans is a company we have thoroughly enjoyed in the past. Yeah, and this one was kind of a throw a throw out by someone. You have to link the name. I'm gonna have to put their name. Thank you. By yeah. the way. <laughs> um, long story short. Kind of had another COVID scare. Was tested. Couldn't film for like two weeks. I ordered this probably a month ago. And that's kind of where we're sitting at with this one. <laughs> I don't remember too much about it. Beak. Beak. And I'm intrigued because, I mean, there's no frills, man. You got your, your box, your knife in a bag. That's it. Um... Okay, so no flipper. It's like a ugly ass vulture. Look at the choil on that. <laughs> wow, look at that thing, dude. So this is actually precision too. So can you put your, your finger up here? I kind of like this. It's got your, uh, am I retarded right It's now? like a G-lock, like the Ganzo G-lock. Sandvik steel, G10 handle. It's 33 bucks, comes in black or green. I mean, this is like, this reminds me of like, uh, what's that, Cobra? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Stallone? <laughs> yeah, the crazy ass knife that the villain has. Yeah. A couple of cool things I'm noticing. So it's got the two position pocket clip, which I don't know what the fuck that means because. It means you could switch oh, to the left other or side. right. Yeah. Okay. Got your lanyard hold. I thought it meant two position, like up and down. Because the thumb stud looks like it can be moved up and down. If we had the tools, you can screw it, slide it up and down. What? Oh, sh**. Huh. Um, I don't know if this one's going to survive. I don't think it is at all. For what it is, it is f***ing comfortable, dude. Yo, shameless plug, dude. <laughs> shameless plug for... We got new merch. Oh, hey. Check out the hats, yo. Right from your uh, mole there. It's a freckle. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Above the mole. Don't cut it off. Ooh. Sharp? Yeah, but because of the weird curvature of the blade, it only gets like one small path. This, this thing is stupid sharp, like, over the entire blade. Like, even look, the very tip. Ooh, all right. F man, this reminds me of spider coat. <laughs> oh, I told you, this thing's sharp. Holy Still, it's still, took a chunk out. Damn! This is actually one of those blades that's so sharp you kind of got to be careful because one like, you know what I mean? That could do that, like a chef blade. This is pretty cool about this blade too. Because it's got that f***ing, that curve at the tip, like it scoops. Alright, I'm getting one. Hell yeah. Oh! Yes! This is a nice knife! Hold on. Now you add it to the pot. Oh. 
I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'm done with this channel. <laughs> Dude, this thing, because of the beak, it like sinks in and then gives you like a perfect f***ing chopping tool. Damn. No knife stuff. No, not one knife we've done so far has done that. Look. Do your little chop chop. No knife's done that either. Because of the, it's like a guillotine. Yeah, because of that leverage and this dead spot right here, that right there is just f***ing, and it's so sharp. It, it really, I'm not taking away from the, the sharpness. It's like a f***ing surgical with this. Be honest, I think I'm holding back a little because I'm trying to hit that perfect spot, though. So hold on. That was pretty right on. Yeah. That was spot on. I'm surgical with this shit, Jake. What's that from? Mm. Not bad for the curvature. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you just can't get a rhythm. That's the problem. With the weirdness of that. Yeah. I mean, not horrible. It's a hair over a quarter of an inch, just like everything else has been. Oh. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's fine. It's a little overneath, just like everything else. Good. Right, right up to the thing, but right. you could like you could hear it and feel it that it's like, Arr! like it's it's <laughs> like listen like, like it's Swing. Swing. <laughs> I don't think we should do the tip test. I don't think it has it in it. It just doesn't have a tip, dude. But that's why we do this. <sighs> it don't have a tip though. That's not meant. <sighs> I mean, let's f we'll do it. Yeah, let's go for it. We got it. Uh, paper. That's what the people want. So. Wow. It never got to the ball with the can. If you try to use the part that opened the can, it's just like every other knife. If you go back to the ball, how the f are we even gonna strop this? <laughs> this is uh, unstroppable. Thor, Mjolnir. It's because of that curvature yeah, of the tip. It, it just doesn't have it, man. Oh, the tip broke. Oh, sh. Yeah, it's that. It's meant to be a curved blade. Yeah. It was brute force. Yeah. It actually was not much of a slicer. No. It just kind of tore at it with the ball of the blade. Oh, God, that hurt my wrist. Oh, damn, look. Oh, you hit it with the choil. Shit. Yep. Damn, I got the fing thing again, dude. All right. I haven't gotten a sweat going in a while with a knife. True. True. Three words. Sharp. Unique. 
No stamp. <laughs> no stamp. Nah. No. Nah, so, all right. It's f***ing unique, and I like that kind of blade. Like, just like the Kershaw, um... Speed bump. Speed bump. The speed bump. Cool? Yeah, Kershaw speed bump. It's a novelty knife. It's cool. It's f***ing sharp. It'll do your daily duties. The lock gave out, but only because you're literally hammering at an angle with this knife. The the blade is meant to slightly be at less than, you know, a 90 degree angle. This blade's 100% not meant to, like, do what we did. Which we know. We no. know. I don't want to hear it. We know. If you're a fan of Spyderco, this knife might be up your alley. Because well, it's a slicer. Weak blades that break. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No. It is a slicer, but it was really not meant for anything other than slicing. No, it, it, for EDC carry, it's going to f***ing open anything you need it to open. It's like, going it, to... Like la- we said, have you ever seen that happen with the deck railing insert? No. It literally shaved a chunk on the first hit, just clear off. Yeah. That is a brutal break. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty rough break that is jesus i unfortunately will not be carrying this for two weeks uh it would have been interesting uh it's also been a while since we've done a knife that was like kind of this size i'm gonna throw it out there though seriously i would buy another one to carry not not for reviews or anything but i like this Hmm. it's 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 random it's weird it does everything you need to it's fitting of your collection it's pretty deep pocket you know what i mean I'm not saying we anyone gets in knife fights every day, or anyone needs to pull knives on people. Like that's not what but I'm we, getting. We at. always just the scare factor. But the like scare. <laughs> that scare factor, man. Like you seriously, like like you're about to f-ing fight someone and they f-ing go like that, and you're like, what the hell is that thing? F-ing thing looks like beaky buzzard. This would be like an, a decent. I wouldn't say carbon because it's a little weaker, but you know, I mean, it's it's a f-ing cool knife. I like the knife. It just don't get any stamps or any approvals, you know. It just didn't survive it, you know. It did make feather sticks a little weirder, but it's because you don't. I didn't know the rhythm of the of the Shape blade. Of the blade, yeah. yeah. It's weird, and you know what's like. Like I said before, the the, the chopping, like you kind of dig that tip it, in, like, locked in, and place. it like it makes it like just basically like one of those paper, paper slices, yeah, from yeah. school. Shink. Um. I got no real bad, really bad things to say about it. I, I was, For what it is, yeah, it's a like, it's a bizarre knife. It's not your everyday carry. It's not your survival. It's not your run of the mill knife. It's a it's a f-ing weirdo, man. It's one of those ones that stands out. But hey, it's a good knife for what it is. It's the Gonzo knife. It even looks like the Gonzo nose. Definitely like a movie replica knife type looking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sound like when a soldier would be pulling out of his pocket. <laughs> or Cobra, man. You gotta pull Dude, that blade up. I was gonna say, like, if I can insert a screenshot of Cobra, that would be a hilarious little... Yeah. And I don't even think it looks like it, to be honest. No, it's but just, it's, it's, it's like what, that vibe. You that's know? what like, goes in my mind. Like The exoticness of it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like one, two, three. Yeah. It gives you, like, every angle. It almost reminds me of, like, skinning a deer or something, you know? Not I that wonder, I know how to skin I, a deer. I was going to say, I wonder what the actual intended use that they well, thought it, of. But, like, even you're looking at it that way, but look at it, like, this way, too. Like like, like cutting an apple like type thing. Yeah, yeah, or, like, or just, like, skin. you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's funny because I read the reviews on it, and, like, the one guy was like, I'm an electrician, and this knife is f***ing awesome. And I can actually see where this would fit into an electrician because you kind of got like your the wire stripper detail, up here. Yeah, yeah, your little details. You you have all the control in the world with this blade. Like you could, sh- you know what I mean? Like you can. Sh- I don't know. I don't know. It's not a bad blade. It just doesn't get the stamps and it broke. If you like the look of this, one hundred percent go for it. This would go in my collection. Uh, no joke. If yeah. it didn't break, I'd, I would. Definitely. I think that's what it comes down. Just because it doesn't get the stamp does not mean we don't like it. I think it's kind of like a really hot. And unique... I probably would carry it too. That's why I said unfortunately, because yeah. there is a part of me that's like it would have been nice to carry this around for two weeks. It's only thirty three bucks. I mean, maybe we'll buy another yeah, one to carry. Up. Big shout out to uh, for for bringing this knife up to us. Sorry, dude. It's been a while. It's a lot of comments. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I read that comment. He's like, try the beak. And I'm like, well, oh, beak sounds pretty cool. And I looked it up and I'm like, oh, shit. you know, it, it, it's cool. It's a beak. Also, it was nice to dip our toes into horns again. Yeah. That was kind of fun. Like I, every yeah. time I'm kind of impressed by every one of their knives. And we're still writing down suggestions, guys. Even if like your suggestion was months ago, trust me, it's still in consideration. I mean, if you I would have spent like, $120 I on this, I would have been pretty pissed off, you know? Pissed off in a way of like, damn, I spent $120 on something that broke, you know? Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Hit the bell. Little bell. Other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out.